Good morning. My name is Harold Caples. Thank you for joining us for today, June 20th, 2018, bid letting. We have 14 projects scheduled on today's letting. I'm going to be reading those projects in alphanumeric order, beginning with project uh, order number N53. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We are broadcasting live from the Highway Annex building in Richmond, Virginia this morning as normal. All right, order number N53. This is an on-call paving job in the Richmond District in Brunswick, Lunenburg, and Mecklenburg County. We received three offers on this project. The first offer from Devcon Contracting Inc. with a bid of $339,975 and zero cents. Next offer from Allen Myers, Virginia Inc. with a bid total of $303,777 and zero cents. The final offer from Colony Construction Inc. with a bid total of $283,109.00. The low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next job is order number N60. It's a smart scale reconstruction of a dam town road, Stanton District, Augusta County. We had four offers on this project. The first offer from F. Clayton Plecker and Sons with a bid total of $1,298,099.16. Next offer from A&J Development and Excavation Inc. with a bid total of $1,270,144.71. Next offer from Fielder's Choice Enterprises with a bid of $1,229,349.05. The final offer from Commonwealth Excavating Inc. with a bid total of $1,149,636.39. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is N61. This is a Culpeper District superstructure replacement over North Fork, Thornton River, Rappahannock County. We had six offers on this job. The first offer from Shirley Contracting Company, the bid of $1,898,164.00. Next offer from TerraSite Constructors LLC with a bid of $1,842,296.82. Next offer from Technoproof Industries Inc. with a bid of $1,821,910.00. Next offer from Kanawha Stone Company Inc. with a bid of $1,806,348.70. Next offer from Fielder's Choice Enterprises, Inc. with a bid of $1,698,613.50. The final offer from Fairfield Eccles with a bid of $1,641,123.22. Low bid exceeded the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N62. This is a Lynchburg District uh, State of Good Repair job, which is a bridge replacement over Norfolk Southern Railway, Campbell County. We had seven offers on this job. The first offer from Haynes Brothers with a bid of $2,874,260.77. Next offer from Kanawha Stone Company with a bid of $2,859,041.97. Next offer from Crossroads Bridge, Inc. with a bid of $2,738,727.23. Next offer from Orders Construction Company with a bid of $2,601,208.50. Next offer from English Construction Company with a bid of $2,505,000. $30.63. Next 
The next offer from Burley Construction Company with a bid of $2,458,977.15. Final offer from Fielder's Choice Enterprises with a bid of $2,209,890.60. The low bid exceeded the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N63. This is a Nova District job, roadway departure crash mitigation project in Fairfax, Loud, and Prince William counties. We had two offers on this job. The first offer from Highway and Safety Services with a bid of $374,633.00. The final offer from Payne's Parking Design with a bid of $295,321.00. Low bid exceeded the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N65. This is Richmond District on-call sign and structure repair replacement job in Amelia, Brunswick, Charles City, and Chesterfield counties. We had five offers on this job. The first offer from Virginia Sign and Lighting Company with a bid of $2,420,961.00. Next offer from Curtis Contracting with a bid of $1,997,454.00. Next offer from Richardson Whalen Electrical Company with a bid of $1,989,965.23. Next offer from Gannett Fleming Development Corporation with a bid of $1,971,503.00. And the final offer from McLean and Company with a bid of $1,634,526.00. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. This job is order number N67. It's a Lynchburg District mash guardrail upgrade project in Campbell County. We had five offers on this job. The first offer from LS Lee with a bid of $525,551.85. Next offer from Long Fence Company with a bid of $467,032.00. Next offer from Selco Construction Services with a bid of $417,859.25. Next offer from Mako Inc. with a bid of $343,343.42. $343 Final offer from Webster & Webster, Inc. with a bid of $317,493.75. The low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N68. It's a Fredericksburg on-call pavement marking and marker replacement job in Caroline, Essex, Gloucester, and King George counties. We had three offers on this job. The first offer from Oglesby Construction with a bid of $1,048,825.00. Next offer from Payne's Parking Designs with a bid of $976,640.00. And the final offer from A. Annandale, Inc. with a bid of $790,826.00. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N69. This is a Bristol District shoulder improvement job in Grayson County. We had two offers on this project. The first from DLB Enterprises with a bid of $1,830,384.71. The final offer from WL Construction and Paving 
with a bid of $1,193,477.34. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N70. This is a Bristol District shoulder improvement job in Buchanan County. We had one offer on this project. That one offer comes from WL Construction and Paving. Inc. with a bid of $2,622,649.64. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N71. This is a Bristol District wide bridge painting contract. We had seven offers on this project. The first from Atlas Painting and Sheeting Corp with a bid of $2,598,000.00. Next offer from Southern Road and Bridge with a bid of $1,916,500.00. Next offer comes from Regalis Painting Company with a bid of $1,435,000.00. Next offer comes from Blastec Enterprises with a bid of $1,400,000.00. Next offer from M&J Construction Company of Pinellas County with a bid of $1,363,800.00. The next offer from KVK Contracting Inc. with a bid of $1,180,000.00. The final offer from Elite Industrial Painting with a bid of $966,473.67. The low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next, off, uh, next project is order number N72. It's a Fredericksburg District on-call centerline rumble strip project in Caroline, Essex, Gloucester, and King George counties. We had three offers on this job. First offer from Payne's Parking Design with a bid of $688,962.00. Next offer is Oglesby Construction, Inc. with a bid of $577,388.00. The final offer on order number N72 is Surface Preparation Technologies with a bid of $545,722.20. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. Next project is order number N81 is a Lynchburg district job for the dismantle and removal of a Clarkton Bridge in Charlotte County. It eight offers on this job. The first offer from McLean Contracting with a bid total of $1,199,999.00. The next offer from Kanawha Stone Company with a bid of $1,054,831.00. Next offer from AR Coffee and Sons with a bid of $964,946.40. Next offer from Crossroads Bridge Inc. with a bid of $786,922.41. Next offer from English Construction Company with a bid of $785,482.25. Next offer from Hames Brothers with a bid of $785,318.00. Next offer from Burley Construction Company with a bid of $581,165.80. The final offer on order number N81 
Products from Joseph B. Fay Company with a bid of $505,763.00. The low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. The last job for today is order number U59. This is a Hampton Roads District on-call interstate guardrail maintenance job in Norfolk, Virginia Beach, Hampton, Newport News counties. And we had three offers on this job. The first offer from Mako Inc. with a bid of $2,433,995.00. Next offer from LS Lee Inc. with a bid of $1,298,097.50. And the final offer on order number U or call number U59 is from Curtis Contracting Inc. with a bid of $977,061.76. Low bid did not exceed the range of the evaluative estimate. As I said, that was the last job for today. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you next month.